Oh what's up guys, it's that toy vehicle guy 9000, back at it again with another banger. And I had no time to record my actual voice, since I needed to get this review out ASAP. I went to the flea market to get a wheelie bike, and saw a blue pop racer to race against my green one but sadly didn't see it there anymore. So I got the wheelie bike, then I found what looked like a stubby base monster truck hidden behind everything. And sure enough it was, but I was not expecting it to be a legendary. And so I absolutely needed it, and later on I tested it. Do have to get a couple bulbs for it. Oh great. Now of course, the three main buttons didn't work and the chrome all flaked off from being partially outside what looked like most of its life. I had to drill out a larger hole in the bottoms of some of the light housings to get out broken or disconnected bulbs and fit in new ones. Then what seemed like the biggest challenge was getting the buttons to work. Now I did get reverse to work through one of the back buttons lowering the resistance to the button sensor there. So I cleaned the board with IPA, no, not Indian Pale Ale. Then I tried scraping the graphite on the sensors thinking it wore off. Of course that didn't work so I tried using Captain Copper tape stuck to blue tack. They ended up coming off the membrane so I only had one choice, and well, it worked. I scraped off those graphite jumpers and used wires instead and this might help me fix my Caterpillar tether remote. Fuck ye, fuck yes! Let's fucking go! Let's get it. Fully working! Oh my god, I'm so excited. This is amazing information. <laughs> 